kind of embarrassed to admit that I've been to Batu Caves twice before and haven't been to this one cave. No, we've been here. We have been here? We've been here, but they changed the color, the painting more colorful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I've been here. I really like it a lot, even more than last time. <laughs> This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. This is my free Kuala Lumpur walking tour video and map. There's an interactive Google map of this walking tour. Just click the link in the notes below this YouTube video on your smartphone. At that link, you'll also find best area to stay, facts and history, and a link to the best travel or retire cheap in paradise locations in the world. Plus, how to make money online using your laptop while you travel around the world. Okay, back to our video. Well, we reached the top, and it's definitely 270 steps. <laughs> it's a warm day, so we're paying for it, and we're told it's free. It's free to come in here, so. So far, so good. And you can see the stalagmites, stalactites. I'm going from memory here, sorry if I'm wrong, but typical in these limestone caverns. And it's, as you can see, it's very beautiful and ornate. Wow, just an amazing rock formation here. And of course it inspires God in people, and so they've they've adorned it with their deities here. Of course, this is Malaysia, so the primary Malaysian um, re religion here is Islam, but um, it's a more open society uh, than some parts of the world. So the um, Indians are allowed to, and the Chinese are allowed uh, allowed to worship their own god without being persecuted. They've had skirmishes from time to time in this country, but the fact that this is standing still is a real testament to the leadership uh, here in Malaysia. Wow, spectacular. Okay, that's Batu Caves. It's a wrap. Good. Yeah, yeah. When you arrive here from the subway, you're going to come through that door there and you're going to see this big green giant. And that is a cave that's full of deities, much more interesting artwork, but the cave itself is not as interesting. That's the first one. Then here's the second one here. It's closed today. And then the big one we were just in, yeah. with the big gold statues, way over there. And uh, so there's three here. Anyway, that's the layout. So right next to uh, Batu Caves is this subway stop for train. It's a commuter train, and yeah, it's five uh, ringgit for two people to go into the, it back into town. Um, and we're going to take it to the Bank Nagara stop and then get a grab there to save about 20 minutes. And we're going to Patronus Towers next. What you got there, beautiful? No. Not for me. I don't qualify for the egg. No. Uh, This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. If you'd like to learn how to live all over the world, possibly for less money than you're spending at home, and you'd like to learn how to pay for it, Click the link below this YouTube video and get a free copy of my ebook. So that, my friends, is the, what's called the TV Tower here in Malaysia. And it's not too far from the Petronas Towers. Um, but uh, I've been to it before. It's not that exciting. I, honestly, I think the view is better from the Petronas Towers. So I'm not going to put this on the tour. 
Uh, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like so you'll know what you're looking at. That's the TV tower. By the way, don't go to dinner up there. If you go at all, if you decide to go, just take the $12 uh, lift up to the top, see the view, and then come down the dinner up there. Uh, that, my friends, is the Shrunas Towers, which we've been to before. Yeah, we just finished our walk over here. There's a huge water fountain over here. But, um, it's up in the evening usually. Anyway, it points right into the front or center of the two towers. And as you can see, there's a bridge across the towers. But um, they sell the tickets. Uh, if you, this is the water. Normally, it's a uh, fountain. Just look for the fountain and just go straight in there to buy the tickets to go up to the top. And the mall. The mall's over here, this way. We're gonna go over there, go. Just had to show you the towers again. Look at those things, they're so high. They were the, I think, the tallest buildings in the world until 2004. Just going from memory there, though, don't quote me. That's the, the fountain we just came from is over in that direction. As I said, you go left and you end up here. And this is uh, KLCC, Korea Mall. It's where the theater is. And you go through here to get to the park in the back. It's a really high-end mall, beautiful, all the major brands from around the world. There's no lack of shopping in Malaysia. It's... So this is the center part of KLCC in Korea. It's a uh, big screen here and everything. And on the top floor here is where the theaters are. And uh, if you go left, you'll get into the park in the back where there's a fountain. And um, they have... Um, a, a really cool running track that I run around and downstairs there's two large international uh, grocery stores and so whatever food you're gonna want they're gonna have it so as you walk out as you walk out the back of the mall there's this fountain out here um, at night at around seven o'clock there's a big light show and the uh, track you see all those buildings out there on the horizon they're, all, they're really only about 600 meters, and there's a track all the way around the outside here. So when you hit the water here, you turn right, and I'm gonna show you where the, how you can walk to the pavilion in an air-conditioned walkway. So you just turn right and go up here. And I don't know if you can see way over there, there's kind of a tan building. We're gonna go through doors over there. Yeah, so the, we, when I was out front and I showed you the front of Surya KLCC and then we walked into the mall, you can get a bus there. It's a free bus. It's a free bus. I think it's the purple bus. Yeah, it's a purple bus. Um, and so it's free and it would take you to the front of the pavilion. Um, so you can do that if you're if you want to ride a bus, an air-conditioned bus. Uh, or you can walk the way we're walking. So anyway, you made that right turn I showed you. And you just walk down this brick path here no turning anymore until you run into that window in front of us we're gonna go through that door up there okay we're approaching those doors that you go through and I, I right before we go through them I want to show you the walking path to my left or running path I don't know if you can see over there but there's like a there's a red path there it's padded so I'm a runner I love to run and it's I don't know how long it is but I would say four, four or five laps around that is pretty good. It takes me about 20 minutes. And it's beautiful. There's water going through it and trees. So you just walk down here. I don't see any pavilion signs yet, do you? No pavilion signs? So as you can see, we're just walking along the track. We're indoors, air conditioned, it's very beautiful. There's a little escalator here you go down. It's a little to the right. There'll be in a, you go past the aquarium on the left here. And you go up these stairs or escalator. 
You go up this escalator right here, Bukit Baton walkway. And it's air conditioned, takes you all the way to Pavilion. You'll come to a junction here, and it'll say Impiana, and you don't want to go straight. You want to turn left, and you'll see it says Pavilion. Bukit Bintang. You'll approach this junction, and you're going to want to stay with Bukit Bintang. So eventually, this the path right there will dump you into this area. Don't take the escalator down, just stay on this and it will take you into the pavilion. So the pavilion's full of a bunch of high-end restaurants uh, where you're gonna get a 10 to $15 meal. And so, which is fine, you can have those. Uh, but when you want a local meal, local food, I recommend uh, eating in Bukit Binteng. There's a, walk, a night uh, walking street there. No, Lot 10 is better. What? Lot 10. Lot 10 yeah. in the pavilion? No, we will pass by Lot 10 in the Bukit Binteng. Yeah, so uh, the famous local food is all together in that area. Okay, there's there and the night place I like. We'll look at both of them. Anyway, so we we sometimes eat here. This Michelangelo's is a pretty good restaurant right here. We've had, I've had their pasta and stuff. It's pretty good. Okay, so if you walk, continue walking out of that food court area there, you'll come into this front area here. See up there where it says pavilion? This is the front of the pavilion. There's a water fountain here. And the buses uh, pick you up just right across the street over there. So just look for the big bus with the purple on the front. That'll take you to Bukit Bintang. But we're going to walk there. Anyway, check out this area. It's just full of shopping and uh, and the pavilion is probably one of the most high-end shopping centers here. If that's your thing. Yeah. Malaysia is really big on shopping, so. So that's the front of the pavilion over there. I'm sure you can see it. Um, Anyway, you, when you come out of that area, you just turn right on the street where I showed you the buses and you come down this walkway here. Uh, walking towards Bukit Binteng. Uh, this, anyway, Lot 10 is up the, right up the street here. We've been walking to it. It's way up there. We head that way. So we... Uh, that spot I showed you where you can get on the bus, that's where you can get off from uh, the bus to get from the bus from uh, Surya KLCC to Pavilion. It's also the spot where you can take the bus to Bukit Binteng, uh, but we're walking. That street I showed you on, we're to, we walked past Lot 10, we crossed a huge street, we're still walking, so. Uh, and you'll turn right soon, I'll show you that. When you get to KLCC, turn right. It's all pretty compact city, actually. It's not really, none of it's really that far. Uh, but people take the bus if they are free, if they're allergic to heat. I like the heat, so I don't have any problem with it. Anyway, you walk down that street, just one block, and you'll turn left, and you'll be on Jalan Alor. That's what this is. It's um, a little early still. I don't know what time it is. Maybe four o'clock. Uh, but all of the restaurants are setting up now. So this is the place you're going to want to go in the evening. Every kind of food is here, really. Um, mostly various parts of Asia, Thailand, Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia has several different kinds of food. Indian, Malay, and the Chinese food. The, the Chinese food is not like Chinese, it's Malay Chinese. Although there are also restaurants here that are traditional Chinese. Um, so, anyway, this is the one of those typical Asian walking streets with all the restaurants. Yeah, so we're here a little early. They start here like five, six o'clock. Yeah, they just start yeah. to put on the table and chair. Yeah, the, yeah. because the before four o'clock, five o'clock is uh, they have to keep the chair for the car. Oh yeah, this is the driving street during the day. Yeah. At night, it's uh, it's walking mostly. Although I still see some cars try to drive down here. 
Anyway, so uh, we walked about half a block, we turned around and came back, now we're back to that same street that where Kentucky Fried Chicken was. And we're gonna go left. We came from that way the first time. There's a KFCC over there. And now we're gonna go this way. This area, is, uh, is, this street's called Chungkot. And it's, uh, it's like a big party area I wanted to show you. Yeah, and also it's too early for happy hour now. For yeah. You're there's not, no happy hour yet. Stuff. So you're not allowed to be happy. So don't be happy yet. Um, anyway, this is the... Bukit Binteng is in Changkat. It's kind of like the back, one of the backpacker areas in town where there's and partying the and... The massage free. Oh yeah, not free. Not free, it's a massage. Massage area, yeah. Right. And it's real massage too, by the way. <laughs> All kinds of different aromatherapy and massage in that area. Huh, this is new. Like Have you some, see the... some more color here. Yeah. Look at this color. I don't remember all this color last time we were here. No. It's all been. They're getting a little more tourist friendly here in KL. This street's colorful too. Anyway, the um, Chungkat is the street we continue walking up here. Do you see that there? That way. Yeah, I'm gonna, we need to get some Instagram photos for Chung, so I'm gonna pause for a minute. Looks like this, somebody with a, some idea of what tourists like are beginning to figure this out. This whole area was just plain white or rusty colored really and now they've turned it into a tourist destination with a little bit of paint. So, this is uh, happens, you'll see this in um, Penang. There's a lot of street art and it makes all the difference in the world. It turns a place from boring into interesting. Uh, it says a lot about a city if they they care about this kind of stuff. I like these uh, sidewalks right here. They're very cool little cut to them, and also they're wheelchair friendly. If you notice, it kind of loops back and forth, so they're, they're it's not just artistic, but it's also wheelchair wheelchair friendly. So this is the area where the bars start. Oh, it's raining on me. Not sure how long it'll last, but. It's just a bunch of bars here in the road, maybe 20. And they have happy hour. But honestly, honestly it's overpriced. It's, um, it's like $6 beer night. But it's not a lot in some places, but it is here. Alright, it's raining. I gotta shut this down. This is Chinatown, and uh, here you can see it's a Spadalic Street. Yeah. And we're going out. Uh, Anybody wants to eat here, she has food in mind. Yes. What is the kind of food you want to eat? It's a Chinese noodle. Yeah. And it's also mixed with the soy sauce, so uh -huh. which is if you like it. And I will ask them to prepare you in a vegetarian way. Yeah. Is it that noodle we had with your friends, uh, Tony, before, or is it another noodle? It's another noodle. Okay. It's, it's not the... It's not the... No, no. It's, it's another noodle. They only have in the daytime. Okay. I'm not sure how okay. long they last in the... It's a, it's a daytime noodle? I think so. They... they um, but that tree is com completely different, the daytime and the nighttime. Daytime have more food. Yeah. This... Um, the street we're walking on right now is the same street that had shops all down the middle of it. Yeah. Now you can oh yeah, and now you can walk see. on it. We're walking in the middle of the street that was full of stores last night. So, so we're eating lunch here. Yeah. It's a famous place. It's a famous place? Yeah. It's noodle. It's noodle. This noodle is famous. I don't recognize it. It's a famous noodle though? Yeah. No, no. Okay. You just don't know. I'm, I'm green. Huh? Uh, so what's the name of this place? I don't know. So is this particular restaurant famous? Or is it, the noodles famous. 
Is it an egg noodle? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Should I have an eat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now the thing is, you have to learn to use the chopstick. Thank you. This is mine. I've seen this uh, kind of temple in the south of India before. Although you'll see it all over India and other parts of the world, Indonesia, but you see this brand of temple more often in southern India. Of course, we're in Malaysia today, so it travels. When I lived in uh, San Diego for eight years, I lived across, I just across the street literally from the Hare Krishna temple there. And of course Lord Krishna is one of the deities that Indians worship. This is pretty cool here. Anyway. Of course the Krishnas in the US um, are vegetarian and so they had vegetarian food at the temple in San Diego uh, that I went to a few times and my girlfriend actually became friends with the, the cook's wife and they invited us over for dinner a couple times and gave us a book called Higher Taste which I read which my girlfriend at the time became vegetarian immediately but it took me probably six months uh, but I've been vegetarian ever since even vegan for, at times
If you found any value here, could you please like this video, leave a comment, or subscribe to our channel? That would move our content up in search engines. That would help us immensely. Also, click the link in the notes below this YouTube video for a free interactive Google map of this walking tour, along with a list of the best things to do, best places to stay, cost of living, best restaurants, a best nightlife tour, and the free ebook about how to make money online. Thanks for listening.